Okay, on this problem we want to determine the pointer points at which this function has a horizontal tangent. So what does that mean if you have a horizontal tangent? Remember, horizontal tangent it would be the slope at a certain point on there, and we want the slope to be horizontal, which means it's going to have a, a slope of zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first derivative, and then we're going to set it equal to zero, solve for it, that allows us to find the point at which there's a horizontal tangent. So first, let's find y primed. y prime the derivative, that's a one times x, so the derivative of one x is just going to be one. The derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine x, we talked about that before earlier in this section. Horizontal tangent means that the slope has to be zero, which means that your derivative is going to have to be equal to zero. So we'll do zero equals one minus sine x, and now we're going to solve that for sine, we get sine x equals one. At this point, you want to look at your unit circle and find any place on the unit circle where a y value is equal to one. Remember, your sine x represents a y value, your cosine is a x value. So we're looking at the unit circle, we want to find any place on the unit circle where the y value is one. That's only going to occur at one spot on there, that's this spot right here, zero comma one. Down here, this is zero negative one, so you don't want to use that just this one here. We want to find the angle at which you get a y value of one, and there's only one angle that works there, and that's going to be particularly pi over two. Okay, so x is equal to pi over two, uh, the y value here is one. So that's the x value at which the derivative equals zero, so that's the only point at which you're going to have a horizontal tangent.